China and the US aren't really best friends when it comes to maintaining economic monopoly and winning trade wars. But the truth is that China's cheap and abundant labor economy is everything American corporations need to survive the ever throat cutting competition. And the Chinese influence on your lifestyle is stronger than you realize. Apple might be America's technological crown jewel, yet China is the one that has been assembling your iPhone. And it might build your car next. So let's get started. First up, why do great American manufacturers always turn to China? Ever wonder why? why big manufacturers like Apple make their manufacturing plants in China? Let's explain why by using Apple as our best example. Turn your iPhone around. Right at the bottom, you'll see the message that's the heart of today's video. Did you get hit with designed by Apple in California, assembled in China yet? There's a reason why Apple's big stores, such as the one on New York's Fifth Avenue, had lines outside the day the iPhone 11 hit the markets. You might not see the hype on the phone, but millions do. Now, Apple's first priority is to increase its supply to meet the demand. And of course, to make new markets, because what's a better accessory than that iPhone in your hand? Apple has turned to China for assembling iPhones at cheap rates. Almost 40% of its suppliers are either Chinese or employ labor from China. Before you raise your questions on why this is a bad move, because hello, open trade is everything we need to progress, think again. Apple isn't even paying minimum wage to a nine-year-old Chinese kid to assemble your iPhone. All right, we don't mean to make you feel horrible whenever you touch your phone, but hey, facts don't care about your feelings. In China, working conditions aren't exactly regulated and the workers don't union. So, on an average Tuesday, Apple can extract a 12 to 16 hour shift from an employee at $1 or less per hour. Yep, if the company was to shift all of its assembly plants to the US, they're bound to pay their labor a $22 minimum wage. We're not surprised. Even a company as progressive as Apple would do anything in its power to make some profits. And that's the story of many companies like Harley Davidson, US Honda Motors, Ford, General Motors, and so on. Now, let's talk about why US corporations make China their worst competitors. In the quest for cheap manufacturing costs, American corporations turn small Chinese firms into monstrous profit-making machines. Not only do these companies have open access to the engineering masterminds of the U.S. companies, but they also generate enough revenues to kickstart some pet projects of their own. It's simple. More money, more avenues to make business, more efficient hirings, and boom, the next thing we see is Chinese companies start to rival the very U.S. ventures that built them. Remember, whatever the U.S. can make, China can make cheaper. That's China's tried and tested strategy to monopolize more markets and the automotive industry is next. Coming up next, how did Apple empower China's upcoming vehicle manufacturing industry? Here's the thing. If you're buying your electrical vehicle from a Chinese retailer in the next three years, feel free to blame Apple. One thing we can't deny is the fact that Apple has given some very exploitative Chinese manufacturing firms access to the US population. A Chinese company, Foxconn, is the sole competitor and mastermind when it comes to manufacturing Apple products. Foxconn has perfected its art. Apple has no choice but to rely on Foxconn to make sure that every time anyone saves up for a new iPhone, they deliver. Now, much to Apple's disappointment, Foxconn is exploring a market that Apple has been dreaming about. Come on. Apple's EV, or Cupertino Mobile, plans were leaked almost a decade ago, and the company still hasn't followed through. While Apple is still busy capitalizing on iPhone number 20, companies like Tesla and Foxconn have achieved new heights, and at the expense of cheap labor. Apple has given Foxconn more hold on American markets than they should have. And oh, we realize that it's not easy to break the monopoly that automotive manufacturers in the US, South Korea, Germany, and Japan have. But these countries don't have something that China has. That's your cheap labor, unlimited supply of manufacturing engineers, and links to the global supply chains through mega projects like the One Belt, One Road initiative. So are we looking for a potential competitor of Tesla in the US? We'll place our money on that bet. Next up, welcome to the world of Foxtron, the ultimate Chinese dream and Tesla's worst nightmare. The electric vehicle industry solely thrives on three big names. Tesla, BYD, and Volkswagen. Even then, Tesla remains the most profitable company after acquiring almost 68% of the market share. Foxconn, with its collaboration with Taiwan's Yulon, hopes to break that monopoly with the emerging vehicle called the Foxtron. This Chinese-Taiwanese collaboration is looking at a potential expansion into the U.S. In fact, Foxconn is already manufacturing for two U.S.-based electrical vehicle rookie companies, Lordstown Motors and Fisker. Plus, Foxconn knows what they're doing by entering the hypercomputer competitive automotive industry. They already manufacture vehicles like sedans, hatchbacks, and buses. This is something that Apple doesn't have. At this point, a leaked blueprint isn't cutting it for them. Presently, Apple is in no condition to compete with Foxconn, yet their reliance on the company to sell their iPhones is greater than ever. Now, you can expect Tesla to drive out Foxtron before it even hits the US markets, but it can only try. Again, people will buy Foxtron for the same reason why Apple assembles its iPhones in China. The manufacturing costs in China and the US are drastically 
different. Of course, if Tesla moves its entire manufacturing base to Taiwan or Vietnam in sheer panic, it might change the game forever. However, we can't see that happening anywhere in the near future. Now, let's talk about why China is your safest bet for the automotive monopoly. Electrification is the future of the automotive industry. And if you're noticing, the latest development in that automotive powerhouses in South Korea or Japan are making, you'll know that EVs are smartphones on wheels, more or less. And that isn't surprising. In any industry, electrification is synonymous with integrating battery tech and advancing self-reliant operating systems. Okay, maybe sleeping while your car drives itself to the nearest McDonald's might not be the best idea, but that doesn't stop companies like Tesla from experimenting. The truth is, if there's any economic superpower that can lead to the electrification of automotive systems, it's China. It has an incredible ecosystem to support the mass production of EVs. So, if you wake up the next day and all non-electrical vehicles are banned, only China can make it through the huge surge in demand. And why is that? China is already monopolizing battery technology with the small manufacturers and big corporations like cattle and BYD. So, if Foxconn needs a battery prototype, it won't be sending its team overseas to sit through some cut-through partnership meetings. Instead, it can just turn to any Chinese company that suits its fancy. And it doesn't even have to wait for the next big battery tech revolution. As cliche as it may sound, China is the next big revolution, and Foxconn is harnessing battery power in real time. Such moves are faster than Tesla could ever afford to make. Let's lay out some facts here. The US isn't even near China to build a monopoly around EV batteries. And it's true that it never had to. But with the rising threats from companies like Foxconn, it's safe to say that the US is going to meet its competitors sooner than we realize. Nope, that's not an empty threat. Even Tesla doesn't have a lead on building its EV batteries. Tesla still gets its batteries from a Japan-based company, Panasonic. And if there's anyone that can replace Panasonic's hold on EV battery supply, it's Foxconn. It didn't take much effort for the company to make Apple its biggest client in the manufacturing sector. So to underestimate Foxconn might be a grave mistake here. So why is Apple still an important part of the automotive industry? All right, maybe Apple's dream of manufacturing a world-class chic EV isn't there. Well, not yet. But if you've read any success stories on Apple, or if you've indulged in the masterpiece that is Aaron Sorkin's 2015 Steve Jobs movie, you'll know one thing about the tech giant. It codes some of the best operating systems in the world, maybe even the best. Apple's benchmark is always going to be its software and operating systems. As exclusive as they are, the Chinese or South Korean influence from Huawei and Samsung is still unable to match Apple's performance efficiency, and good for them. It doesn't come off as a surprise that Apple is going to find its unique spot in the automotive industry through what it does the best. Apple is building an advanced automotive infotainment software for self-driving cars. And before you ask, yes, CarPlay or Android Auto has nothing on whatever Apple comes with. Apple's new software will obviously be the most advanced version of CarPlay as the infotainment will be integrated into the entire car and not just your dashboard. And if there's anyone who can beat themselves at their own game, it's Apple. Now, even if Foxconn has the blueprint for the next great EV, it severely lacks the artistry to build information systems that can rival its boss, Apple. Maybe we'll see a Foxconn-Apple collab. Of course, Google can emerge as the big stakeholder in the automotive infotainment software field, but so far, Apple is the official reigning champion there. And that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.